the um, application problems at the end of the chapter uh, on page 33. That's what we're going to work on last here. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, but after chapter 2, what you should know, again, the basic accounting terms and concepts that affect owner's equity accounts. Again, it's, it's going to be your capital account as of right now. There are other owner's equity types of accounts, just not right now. Um, we should also be able to analyze changes in the accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, that affect the owner's equity transactions in a service business organized as a proprietorship. Again, you should know those terms by now. Um, if not, see page uh, or see 2 1, see the transactions. There were four transactions that we completed that affected owner's equity in Chapter 2, and that was all we did. And finally, we prepared a balance sheet after those transactions have been affected or after those accounts have been affected, we're going to prepare a new balance sheet for the service business uh, according to the uh, information on the accounting equation. So on your file here, your Excel file, you see app 2-1. I've put this together for you. I'm on page 33. Um, it, tell, it says Peter Smith operates a service business called Peter's Service Company. Peter's Service Company uses the accounts shown in the following accounting equation. Use the form, uh, uh, use this form right here that you see on your screen to complete the transaction. And you notice that you have eight transactions. The first one, and actually look at the instructions below the transactions. It says for each transaction, complete the following. Transaction one is given as an example. It's not here because we're going to do it together. A, analyze the transaction to determine which accounts are affected. So we're going to look at the transaction and we're going to figure out which account out of cash, accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, accounts payable, and capital, which two are affected. Again, there's always two accounts that are affected in each transaction. B, we're going to write the amount in the appropriate column using a plus or minus sign to increase or decrease each account and we're going to get to that in a minute for transactions that change owner's equity write in parentheses a description of the transaction to the right of the amount and that's what I have here I wanted it highlighted in red and you'll see it's already formatted for you so you're gonna write revenue expense or withdrawal the type of account or I'm sorry the type of transaction that we discussed in chapter 2-1 out of the four we either it was a um, it was either revenue or it was an expense that we paid or it was a withdrawal for, from the owner. Uh, D, calculate the new balance for each account and I've already put the formulas in here for you. And E, before going on to the next transaction, determine if the accounting equation is still in balance and I put that here for you. So every time we make a change, I've put the formula up here I've just summed these four and I've summed these two to make sure that these two are affected every time I make a change so let's look at transaction one paid cash for rent uh, whenever we pay cash it's gonna be minus cash so we're gonna put negative 300 and if we hit the tab you'll notice again that parentheses means negative and it automatically deducted this from our final balance and you notice that our assets our accounting equation is unbalanced so the other account that is affected we said when we paid cash for expenses we minus 100 or minus whatever the amount is so minus 300 here as well and you notice that now we're balanced and this is an expense account or an expense type of transaction. We paid cash for rent, rent expense. We're renting the building that we're in. Transaction two, paid cash to the owner for personal use. Again, if this is for $150, so automatically if we paid cash, we're minus 150. And again, this is going to be in the capital account or owner's equity classification, minus 150. And this was a withdrawal. And this is, again, when we want to withdraw as an owner, when I make that revenue, I want to, I want to go spend it. I want to maybe invest it or maybe I want to go buy something, take a trip, 
whatever transaction three received cash from sales of eight hundred dollars so this is just eight hundred just write eight hundred here it's gonna add it automatically to our balance of cash this is what we have in our checking account and again this was a sale of cash so we're gonna put this in our capital of eight hundred dollars and this type of transaction was again revenue so we've already done one of each of the three types of transactions that affect the owner's equity accounts expenses withdrawals and revenue the rest should be pretty easy transaction four paid cash for equipment repairs of one hundred dollars so if we paid cash of hundred dollars we're gonna put minus one hundred in our cash and this is an expense um, it's the, someone's coming to repair our equipment so we're gonna this is a maybe a repair expense so minus 100 here in the capital account and again expense transaction 5 sold services on account to Lisa Lee now again if you remember back in 2-1 whenever we sell something on account to Lisa Lee well we're gonna put it here we're gonna record it in our capital account or our owner's equity this was for four hundred dollars so we're gonna add four hundred dollars this is a revenue Oop. if you start to type it in and hit enter it'll put it in there for you now we didn't receive the cash at this time so she owes us four hundred dollars we're gonna cr uh, credit her account four hundred dollars and she's gonna pay this back at, at a certain point notice that our assets still equal liabilities plus owners equity transaction six received cash from sales we received cash plus 650 and again this is revenue right in our pocket someone came in took a lesson paid us six hundred and fifty dollars we're gonna put revenue here as well transaction seven paid cash for charitable contributions now maybe we donated money to the local Girl Scouts so we paid cash either way it's gonna be minus 35 so anytime we pay cash or receive cash cash account is affected again this is going to be an expense so we're gonna minus 35 and we're gonna put expense finally transaction 8 received cash on account from Lisa Lee we're gonna add 300 to our cash account however Lisa Lee paid us 300 of the 400 that she owes us so we're gonna minus 300 right here and that's still gonna equal out both sides of the equation so here are our balances so right now we have one thousand seven hundred ninety dollars in our cash account in our check in our like checking account for a business um, Lisa Lee still owes us a hundred dollars we still have three hundred and seventy five dollars in supplies maybe those are musical instruments uh, like I said anything that's supply related to our business it's worth money and then our prepaid insurance again insurance that we pay ahead of time in case the business burns down we can get our supplies back and our cash back so that's that's what insurance is just like car insurance so, but it's worth money we owe two hundred dollars still to Klein and our capital is worth two thousand three hundred sixty five dollars so if if the bank were to say today what is your business worth this is what we would use two thousand three hundred sixty five dollars okay which is our all of our assets but minus our accounts payable which we owe somebody so as long as these still equal out we're okay and again to get this formula here all I did was I hit auto sum and I added these cells up and hit enter and I did the same thing here auto sum these cells together hit enter and if these two equal out and you have these amounts and this is what yours looks like application problem 2-1 is done now 2-2 is the same thing and this is on page 34 it is the exact same thing to application problem 2-1 however 
um, you need to fill this out on your own. And you notice that there, instead of eight transactions, there's 12 transactions. Um, right now, these are your beginning balances. So as you put plus and minus for each account and you write in, you know, what kind of transaction it is, these totals will be affected and so will this formula here as well. So let's take a look at application problem 2-3 and as you can see I've already started the balance sheet for you. Uh, again maybe we come up here and we format this a little bit and make it uh, look a little bit more presentable for our boss if we're the accountant. But again you need assets, you need liabilities, You need uh, owner's equity. Okay, and remember that these are column headings or section headings, so we're going to bold these. We're going to center them. That's super important. And we're going to make them a little bit bigger. Format painter. If I hit it twice, then I can go to multiple cells and do that, and then hit it again to turn it off. Remember, in these cells, I've already summed these columns up for you but make sure that we come up to the borders section and we put top and double bottom border top and double bottom border so that, that we have the double bottom border here and you will be marked off if you don't have that so that's application three um, it gives you the amounts at the top of page 35 as far as cash being um, eight thousand six hundred fifty five dollars accounts receivable Jana Freestead you're gonna find this in chapter uh, or lesson 2-2 two two, what you've already done so yours should look like this and again if you want if the lines work out copy and paste into 2-3 uh, just make sure that you have the names um, and the dates and everything else correct application 2-4 or the mastery problem here's what you're gonna do you're going to uh, you have 13 transactions and you're gonna do it exactly how you did it in application 2-1 and 2-2 except for you don't have to explain what type of transaction it was, whether it be an expense, withdrawal, or revenue. So you don't have to put that, you just have to make sure that the amounts are in the correct spot. And I've included again the formula down here so that you know that the accounting equation is correct. You know that all of your balances for each account are correct. And then at the end, you're going to need to put together a, a revised balance sheet. So um, again, you might want to format this a little bit put balance sheet, put the date, put assets, liabilities, owner's equity, put your accounts listed. Um, it should look, ex your this section should look just like this, and your balance sheet section should look just like this, except the amounts um, and everything in there. It should look like this. This is 2-1 lesson and 2-2 lesson. So take a look at those in order to complete the mastery problem. Uh, this is worth a few more points. If I look at the grade sheet here, again, lesson 2-1, go through that. Make sure to work together in the on your own. The terms, the audit, your understanding questions are completed, each worth 10 points. You have your application problems here and the mastery problem, which is worth 10. Here's the rubric, still remains the same. You have three days to complete this chapter, 10% uh, off uh, of each day that I don't receive the submission on the due date by midnight. Uh, here's my email, and again, the email of this file needs to be Chapter 2 Tiefenbach or Chapter 2 Johnson, whatever. Um, make sure that you have all of these completed, and um, yeah, that should take care of things. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at any time, and uh, we'll go from there.